40 years that I've taught at Albright College, there have been many moments uh, when I've been proud of Albright. Uh, one that comes to mind has to do with uh, one of my the best students I, I've had while I've been here, uh, Kathy Kniff, who wrote a wonderful uh, seminar paper in an independent study course that she took with me. She then gave that, presented that paper at a uh, Latin American Studies conference and won a prize at the conference for the best undergraduate paper presented there. Uh, had it published in the proceedings of the uh, conference and that publication came to be uh, instrumental in her getting a full scholarship in Latin American Studies at the University of New Mexico. I find that the most amazing part of my job here is not only educating my students in their field, but also being a positive role model and mentor for them. I have many students that have aspirations of going into federal law enforcement, and many of them look at me and say, oh, I'll never achieve that, and I say, you never know until you try. I have several students who are currently active in federal law enforcement and they have actually succeeded in the career that they always dreamed that they would aspire. I have a student who is currently working in federal law enforcement with the FBI and I encouraged her to apply for the internship. She was actually the first ever Albright student to achieve that and it's an extremely competitive internship. She did so well with it that they actually offered her a position upon graduation. Another student years ago aspired to go into traditional law enforcement. So I encouraged her to apply to the NYPD, which was her dream position. And she said, no, I'll never be able to achieve that. I said, just try. So a few years ago, she emailed me. I keep in touch with her throughout the years, and she actually made a detective in the organized crime unit there and has had an amazing career and she thanked me enormous, enormously because she said if it weren't for your encouragement I would never have thought that I could do this for myself. I find that being here and educating beyond the classroom keeps me young at heart. And for me, that's extremely gratifying, and I'll always cherish that. Uh, the first year that I was here, I signed up for and then helped with Move In, which is a, a, which is a lot of fun to be able to be there, see the new students coming onto campus there on that Thursday, and mostly to help the parents, of course, move all the stuff and the very heavy belongings that they have into into their dorms. But it's nice to get some help from the football team, to get some help from all the people that they send out uh, to help out with movement. It's just, it's a, lo it's a lot of fun and it's a neat way to kick off a brand new year school. Yes, this is a very exciting time, I feel, because especially when the kids come back, it's, you get all these new faces and the parents and everybody's so excited and it's just a great time. I just love it. You know, we see all those brand new faces that have never been away from home, mm -hmm. excited about what's to come, unsure of what's happening next, and just seeing all the different questions and some of the nervousness and just their comfort level change over those first couple of days as they arrive on campus. Well, 15 years here at Albright. Um, the, the, probably the most thing I'm proud of is that I am a trip advisor with our students on alternative spring break. It, one on the first one back in 07 when Katrina, myself, now trustee Tiff Archie, and Professor Dave Martin all were kind of volunteered and went to, to help with the Katrina relief. And I've been doing it ever since. So the, one of the greatest things about being an Albright employee is that you have a chance to be more than just an employee. You can engage with students and you can be part of what their experience here at Albright. So it's been kind of fun. I'm really fortunate because I'm a career counselor, so I work with a lot of the students, you know, not only as they come in as freshmen, but all the way up until even after they graduate. We have alumni that come back and, and share their story with us. And it's, it's really exciting for me because I get to see them grow as people. Um, you know, they do an internship, they do an acre, they study abroad, and then they come back and they're this whole new person. They have 
this new confidence in themselves and I think that's just so cool. There is one that I have kept in touch with. Um, she graduated five years ago now um, and she you know, came in every step of the way and she's now a um, guidance counselor for Plattsville School District. It's just so great to see all the things that she's accomplished since being here at Albright. I think what I'm most proud about on this campus is the way we connect with each other, the sense of community that we inspire within each other and within our students. Specifically for me, watching them reach their health goals, their fitness and wellness goals as part of the wellness committee, inspiring others to stay healthy and well is, is what I'm definitely most proud of on this campus. Our wellness committee is really committed to continuing to grow that sense of community amongst us so that we can support each other in a happier and healthier environment and inspiring our students and empowering them to move forward is what makes me really truly proud to be an Albrightian. I don't think there's any one thing that I'm particularly proud of. There's a lot of things. I think that every time the domino players put a theater production onto the stage and my students work is seen in the costumes, I think um, they allow me to be proud of what I do because they're proud of what they do. I'm also um, really happy with the fact that every costume design student that's graduated from here um, has gone out into the theater field. I have somebody working, one of our alums working down in Texas right now at SeaWorld with costumes. I had another student go to um, right directly out of school and onto Broadway shows that are touring around the world. And so the fact that every single costume design student that's graduated from here is working and making a living, doing what they learned here, uh, I think that's an incredibly um, proud or pride-filled thing. My favorite thing, I've been here for 10 years, and my favorite thing is to engage with the students, make them feel they're at home, not so they don't miss home that much, but just so they feel that this is their home while they're on campus. Um, I try to learn a lot of their names, I try. <laughs> my other favorite part of work is coming in here and, and being with my coworkers. Um, I love, not a lot of people could say that about their job, but I could say that about my job, that I love being here. A lot of people say how you're always smiling, and it's just that I always say, well, you don't want to see me crying, so it's always good to smile because it's contagious. <laughs> my children and my son went to school here very briefly. My daughter is going to school over here now, and I am very proud to say that I work at Albright. So three years ago, I was in my office with the Center for Excellence in Local Government, and a student by the name of Hunter Ahrens came into my office. It was the second week of his freshman year, and uh, he wanted to get involved in municipal government, uh, specifically wanted to get involved in school district work. Um, but we worked and talked together about uh, what local government was all about and what his aspirations were. Um, and as we moved forward, he volunteered in the center for his freshman year, and then we were able to employ him as a work-study student and a facilitator with the center for events that we had. Um, he actually received his master planner certificate, and uh, he's entering his senior year this year, and really proud of the fact that he has been hired part-time to work for Brecknock Township in anticipation of his graduation in May, where he will probably be appointed as the full-time municipal secretary um, and start his career. Additionally, in uh, November, he uh, will be standing for school board elections in the, in the uh, township of Exeter. Uh, he was the second largest vote getter in the May primary. And so I anticipate on December 1st, he'll be halfway through his part-time position with Brecknock Township and starting his school district, uh, school director position with Exeter Township in anticipation of his May graduation when he'd be appointed full-time as a secretary for Brecknock Township. So we're very proud of the work that he's done and his future. We were involved in a capital campaign project, um, the advancement team, and um, for me, it was um, great to be part of the team. A lot of efforts, a lot of moving parts with um, my colleagues and uh, the moment uh, we reached our campaign goal of um, 55 million and um, it was a celebratory moment and it was nice to share it with the trustees and um, it was nice to be part of it when uh, we reached our goal and, and celebrated that. 
I've worked in the President's Office here at Albright for 10 years, and we're thrilled to have Jacqueline Fetro working as our President, uh, class of 82. Wonderful to have her back on campus. And I am also a new alum. I walked in commencement in May, had my degree in psychology, and I enjoyed having a quality education working here at Albright College. You never stop learning, and Albright College has quality education, so I'm proud to be a member of the Albright community. You know what's really great? I think one of the coolest thing about working here is seeing how the kids grow. They're like little kids when they first come in and until they graduate, they're like these young adults and it's like, oh my goodness. They're like my kids. So I can watch them. It's really neat. I really like that. That's why I'm here. And it is to go off that. It's the same thing. You, you In one year, you can see brand new people coming to school and in that exact same year, you know, nine months later, you get to see them, see other other students walking across the stage at uh, graduation to be able to help out with, to, to be able to help out through that whole span of events is a really neat thing. Having been here for 20 years, there are many different things that I could draw on to speak about what I'm most proud of, from projects being completed to evolutions of technology, but what most inspires me is being able to participate in and see growth in our students. IT services that have the opportunity to have several students work for us directly who then go out and have an effect on our campus, positively understanding what people need to do in their work, participating and helping them get there with the tools that we provide, and by the end of their time working with us, they become productive members of our community, and I just am tickled to see that growth in them. I've been, I've been lucky enough to work with the domino players in the theater program, and it's always exciting. Opening nights and performances are always exciting when you see the students sort of uh, taking the stage and, and um, seeing their families and their friends come and enjoy their performances. Uh, one of the things that makes me happiest about Albright is the continuity, the kind of connection between alumni and our current students and when our alumni come back to see the plays in the theater and it's so great to see them um, back in the theater lobby and it's just like a family reunion. Over the last five years uh, working in my department uh, meeting all the people, interacting with them. It's been a really good last five years. So one of my funniest and fondest memories is, uh, I believe it was the second day that I was working at Albright. I've been here for five years now. And it was the first or second day, and I was on my way down to Human Resources, and a reporter from the Reading Eagle stopped me in front of Whitechapel took my photo, took a quote from me, and then the next Monday, the article ended up in the Reading Eagle with my big picture there in front of Whitechapel. So it was a memorable start to being at Albright. I think working at an academic environment like this, you have everything's broken up into semesters and it just makes everything that you do more interesting. So it's like, oh, it's time for this. Oh, it's time for that. And it's like, right, it's just me. That's why I'm here so long. I started here to put my kid through school. He's 36, so I've been here a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes me think of a, a student, a young man who came up to me after commencement uh, one year, very eager to shake my hand. He never thought he would graduate from college, much less Albright, and I'd given him some help along the way. And he was ecstatic, and it just goes to show what a a welcoming and academically rich campus we have. Uh, the faculty's terrific and we have a lot of dedicated uh, professionals helping students succeed, so it makes it a wonderful place to be. Lorraine makes everything that we do possible. <laughs> so Derek and I work on projects as a team, but Lorraine makes it all possible. She orders She's the that. food that lets us keep working. Yeah. Yes, yes she does. Yes. Very much so, and we appreciate it good time. <laughs> Every day is my proudest day to help everybody on campus. Not only the people I work with, but I get the calls and say, where do I do? Who do I go with this? It's like, I gotta come. If I'm not helping somebody, I'm not happy. <laughs>